Hello guys, in, in the last video we have talked about a visit counter. In this video we'll see how to call a servlet from a servlet. So let's say you have two servlets and you want to call a servlet from a servlet. Okay, so before that what I will do is I will create a web page okay, in which I will uh, just give a button. Okay, so let me create a HTML page first. There is a HTML page here, it's not there. Okay. So let's create a HTML page okay. and we'll name this page as index. Oh, oh we already have a page here. So I have index.html page here. I will use this page. What we want to do here is I just want to call a servlet. So I will use a form tag. In form I will mention action. I will say the first servlet as first servlet. Okay, which is not there yet. We'll create that servlet later. So I have this uh, servlet here. And I want to call this servlet when a button is clicked. So I will say input type submit and we'll say value. So we'll say OK. So as soon as I click on OK, it should call first servlet. Simple, right? Now let's create that servlet. So in my project, in my project, let me get a servlet. So I will right click on my project, say new. And let me create a servlet and we'll name the servlet as first servlet and say next. Now I want to add this in, uh, description in XML file. I'll click, click on OK. And I, I, normally I get lots of codes, right? And normally in the last video we have deleted this code. But in this video, let's just keep this code. Let me remove all the extra comments which are not required here. What we will do is, okay, let me remove this comment first. Now you will see, we, we have seen do get, do post, what is this process request? So every time a user sends a request, since in HTML we are not mentioning the method, so we are not mentioning any method here, which simply means if you mention a method like get, it should call, it will call do get. If you mention a method as post, it will call do post. Since we are not mentioning the method here, by default it will be get, so it will call do get. So you can see there is a plus button here, if I expand this button, you can see there's already two methods defined, which is do get and do post. So we have do get and do post. And both are calling process request. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it is a, a, a what you say get request or post request, it will call this process request. Okay. So just to make it simple, let's delete this part. Okay. And we'll go with do get, not do post. We'll go with do get here. Okay, and I, I hope you know the difference between do get and do post that we have discussed in the second video of the tutorial. Okay, now let's create a method which is public void uh, void do get, which will take two parameters. One is HTTP servlet request, and we'll say req req request, and then let me create servlet response. So which is here and we'll name this as response. Now once you got this method, what we need to do is, uh, initially we just print something here because we'll print, uh, well, let's print on the console, we'll say s out. Uh, let me just, s out I will say in first, just to check, okay. we'll say first servlet. Let's deploy this website, we already deployed it. Let's run this, which is index.html. It will open in Chrome, and you can see a big button because I have just maximized the screen. What we'll do is we'll click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, uh, it is not printing anything here, is because we are not printing on the page, we are printing on the console. You can see an Apache log or Apache log here. You can see we are in first servlet. So at least this is working. Okay, but I don't want to print anything here. That was just for testing. Now what we need to do is, we need to call second servlet. So I have to create that second servlet first. For that I will just use this code itself, so I will say copy. And let me create a new servlet which is, we will say this as second servlet. Uh, we will add this in deployment descriptor and click on finish. And for this also we will use, we'll use the same code, difference will be instead of first servlet we will have second servlet. So now we have two servlets. We have first servlet and we have second servlet. In second servlet, I will create object of print writer just to print something on page. We'll say 
print out equal to response dot get writer which we have seen in the last video and this might throw an error so first let's fix the import so we'll say control shift i just to fix the import and we'll click on this bubble we'll say add those which is those io exception and now let's uh, print something on the page what i will print here is i will say in second subred that's it so we are we are printing in second subred we can do lots of tasks here but our main motto is to call second subred from the from the first subred so now if i click on this html page which is on click button okay it will call first subred page okay and what we want to do is we want to call second subred so in this do get we have to write some code which will call second subred now there are different ways of doing this so the first way is using this uh, interface called as request dispatcher so we have to use something as request dispatcher we'll name this as rd now if we go to request dispatcher it's an interface which has lots of constants in it okay and which has two methods one is forward and include now the problem is in order to create object of request dispatcher or instance of request dispatcher we need to use request object which has a method called as get request dispatcher in which you have to mention which servlet you want to call which is second servlet okay so once again in order to create object of request dispatcher we need to say request dot get request dispatcher which is a method of request interface which is http request interface we need to mention the servlet name you want to call cool and then we can use rd dot so you can as we have seen here it has only two methods one is forward second is include this time we'll use forward just to call that servlet and we have to pass two objects one is request object and we have to pass response object now it might throw an error so what we'll do is we'll add the we will throw the exception which is server exception and we need to throw one more uh, we need to call we need to throw io exception also so we have thrown two exception which is servlet and io cool so when if you want to call a servlet from a servlet we have to use request dispatcher and we need to say forward cool and now let's run this code so if you say run so if i click on ok you can say it is it is printing in second servlet that means we are able to call the second servlet cool so that's the first way to call a servlet from a servlet with something called as request dispatcher okay so that's it from this video so do subscribe for the further videos because in the second video we'll talk about uh, another way of uh, calling a servlet from a servlet so thank you so much for watching